Mmm. Good day to you. And good day, Stephen. Good day, Paul. How are you guys doing? I'm hoping that you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Um, it's been a very good one today. It's um, it's um, it's the last day of the month, preferably for for us this end. So it's a lot of reports. It's a lot of client feedback. It's a lot of high fives around the, you know, around the board. I'm so excited that you guys are around tuning in and uh, watching this with me. Jamie, thank you so much. Jackie Whiteford, thank you so much for tuning in. And Michael, thank you so much for tuning in. Robert, everybody is in the house. Ruta, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So today we're talking about something that a lot of people might just think, okay, I think this guy really needs help. We're going to have to call in some people uh, to, to help him and ease him out of his own sanity, all right? I wanna to talk to you about how marketing is actually cheaper than what you're doing at the moment and how you have bought into the biggest lie in our whole entire generation, all right? So just tune in, uh, buckle up. If you've got a drink up somewhere, have a drink because today's show is gonna be a little bit explosive. I see Mike has just tuned in. Thanks, and it's nice to see you back again. I've been missing you, buddy. Julie, thank you so much. Um, and hello to you. And if you received a gift from me in the morning, just hit the like button. You know what? We really, really just want to make sure everybody's having, you know, a life that's um, profitable and a life that's also, you know, of a happier existence. My name is Prosper Taruvinga. By the way, in case this is your first time tuning in uh, to the Lunch and Learn, we sit around here for the next 30 minutes where we really discuss things that are designed to make you so much money in your business with less struggle, okay? I understand you want results today. I understand you want things happening on the double. I want, I want that you realize that if you put in the work, if you actually care about what you're doing and what you're putting out there, the results would come on their own, all right? So, as I was saying, guys, we have all sort of been duped and we've all bought into the biggest lie ever, all right? Now, this biggest lie is not your fault. This biggest lie is not your daddy's fault. This biggest lie is not the market's fault. The biggest lie that we've been given and we've been made to believe is that life can be had, lived, and enjoyed in the matter of a 30 minute episode, all right? We are watching TV every single day. We are watching Netflix every single day. We are watching uh, Stan or we're watching HBO or we are watching movies or whatever it is that you are getting your entertainment from. We watch a series right from the start. A baby is born, they grow up, they become somebody and eventually they die or they get married and they live happily ever after in a matter of an episode. You know what that has done to our culture? That episode has made you think that life, work, relationships, businesses can all be done in a matter of 30 minutes. And that's the biggest lie ever, all right? So this then gives you the whole no satisfaction with your job, no satisfaction with your relationships, no satisfaction with anything else because... Obviously, in 30 minutes, they just want you to see the results that you're anticipating. But life gives you different um, lemons every single day and you have a different flavor of lemon juice that you have to create. All right. And have you also noticed that Netflix only gives you 15 seconds to decide what you're going to do with the rest of your day? And it's going to be another episode. So we have bought into the biggest lie that we have to have instant gratification. We have bought into the biggest lie that, you know, you can just have six minute abs. We have bought into the biggest lie that you just look at a Facebook ad and then it has to convert. We have bought into the biggest lie that every relationship has to turn into some sort of fairy dream that the prince um, you know has to kiss some frog and all of a sudden it turns into whatever it is that they're feeding kids these days we have bought into the lie 
All right. Now you as a person that's following me, you as a person that's watching this, you as a person that really, really wants a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I really want to um, help you uh, declutter that lie that people have been instilling on you and it has not been your fault. All right. It has not been your fault. It takes 21 days for you to be 21 years old. All right, you don't get 21 years old in the matter of an episode. You don't take 21 years old in the matter of, you know, instant uh, movie or instant, um, you know, call, a call or I mean, instant car that comes in as an Uber. There's a lot of work that happens behind the scenes. There's a lot of work that happens for you to have that TV in your house. There's a lot of work that happens for that episode to be filmed. All right. I've been working. I don't know if you know exactly what I did when I came into um, Australia. Um, I didn't know anybody. I, uh, I did not know a lot of people. And the only way I did or went out to meet people was to either go modeling or become an actor. So if you actually Google my name, you will figure out that some of my profiles are still written as actor or model. All right. Let me just read what people are saying. Push button results is a big myth as well. Too many people still believe out there. The, well, that's what I'm talking about, Mike. All right. So I was still saying, so I would go in and then we would, you know, hey, Alan Stevens, thank you so much for tuning in. So we would go in, we would start acting out, um, you know, um, you start acting out, you know, scenes that you're given. And, you know, a, a, a 30 minute scene usually takes three days or four days to actually um, film out. And then they compress the content by editing it all together, all right? So just like right now, everybody else is so mad that Game of Thrones, they have to wait until next year because it all has to be created for you to binge watch it in two hours, all right? That's where the people and everybody else, you included, have forgotten that there's work behind the scenes that needs to be done in order for you to get those results, in order for you to sip um, a pina colada while you're sitting on the beach and looking at your novel. It doesn't work like that, all right? And then at the end of the day, what we then forget is simple things are actually what matter the most to people. We have bought into this whole criteria that things have to be so complicated and that's the only way that people would value your work. That's the only way people would buy from you. People really, really want to buy from other people, period. That's another big lie that they've lied to you, that you need a funnel, that you need, um, you know, what, whatever it is, you need a Facebook ad or whatever. If people don't know, like, and trust you, they're not going to do business with you. No matter how good your ad looks, no matter how fluid your funnel is going to be, as soon as they land at a position where they get to meet you face to face and they don't like you, I'm sorry, man, you're not going to have that transaction. All right. So a lot of startup businesses or businesses like yourself and me, Matthew Riddle, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Businesses like you and me, we, we, we just really, really need to maximize on being ourselves. All right. There's a big opportunity for actually promoting ourselves. And in the process, our businesses then grow. All right. We really need to make sure that the business that we're creating has us written all over it. You know why? Because people are buying from people. It's no longer a matter of you having a fancy schmancy website. It's no longer a matter of people have, you know, you having a fancy schmancy uh, funnel or whatever it is. If people don't like you, if people don't dig your style, if people don't trust you, if people don't respect you, you're not having that transaction. All right, Trish Milali, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, business. Well, according to me, it's no longer, you know, just a commercial venture, guys. You know, it's no longer a matter of set and forget, all right? It's now a matter of dealing with people. How are you creating and relating to those that you're demanding money from? We've bought into the big lie, guys. We have bought into the big lie where we have totally separated ourselves from who we have to be in order for people to actually trust us know us and want to transact and do business with us. We've bought into the light. There's so many other lies that we've bought into. 
Alright? Now, well, today I really want to let you realize that your business is a direct reflection of who you are as a person. If you're not a smart person, outlook or the way you look or the way you present yourself, your pages are not going to be looking good. Your, um, you know, your, your, your presentations or your, your graphic design is not going to be up to scratch. That too will affect the way people deal business with you. All right. That's one other thing. If you're a person who's always stressed, all right, it will reflect onto your business. You know why? Because you're always trying to, you know, do things on last minute. You're always trying to, um, you know, whack whatever mole that pops up in your business. That reflects on your business. And do you think people like to do business with those people that have no time management, have no management of their staff or management of their delivery of their goods and services? All right. You see, you see where this is all going. It's not a hack. It's not, a, 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 you know, whatever it is, you know, a funnel. It's not a, a smancy website. It's not. Yes, user experience is needed. But what are you doing in order to put a direct reflection of what your business is supposed to represent in the market? What are you doing in order to be of value? What are you doing in order to be, do, and have all of those things that you aspire for so you can also give your customers a life that's profitable and enjoyable and also a life that they are happy to exist in that ecosystem? Don't forget that your customers have so much of a choice. Your customers have so much of a choice and your competition is out there grabbing them by the... So what are you doing? Business is no longer just commercial. What are you doing to put yourself in front of that customer so that they can remember you and they can talk about you at a barbecue? So they can talk about you at bingo? So they can talk about you at the next cocktail event? How are you putting yourself out there? It's not a matter of having the best, easy to follow um, click funnels, although it works. But if your star player is not, you know, in tune with what you're doing, you're not going to present the best funnel in the market. You're not going to offer the best value. You know why? You're not investing in you as the person who is supposed to be giving value to your clients. You are paid in direct proportion to the value you bring to the marketplace. Yesterday I asked a question. Everybody, everybody who follows me would know that whatever question I ask, there's, there's an agenda behind it. If you can't do anything for yourself, if you can't do anything for other people, how do you expect the partnerships that you can create in your business to flourish? If you can't do anything for other people, what are you doing at least for yourself in order to be of value? You are paid in direct accordance to the value that you bring into the marketplace. We have been sold the biggest lie ever. That life can be done, produced, and people die in 30 minutes all because of the episodes we're watching on Netflix, all because of the episodes we're watching on HBO. Life is so much complex than that. Every single thing that you do matters. Your business cards, the people you talk to, the way you talk to them, the way you present yourself, the people you hang around with, what you read, who you talk to, and who you associate with. All of that is part of your branding. And guess what? Most of it is free. A whole lot of it is free. But everybody else is out there trying to pay the monthly subscription just so they can belong. Just so they can touch the hem. What are you doing to be in front of your customers? Period. What are you doing in terms of your profile picture so that people can recognize you when you show up at events? That's branding. That's marketing. You know how many business, um, you know, transactions or uh, business uh, plan are not plans, but, you know, business ideas are skipping through you just because people don't know who you are. Just because people don't know what you do. People don't know what you're good at because you're busy behind the scenes trying to create a funnel that nobody's going into anyway. You need to show face. You need to be there for the people you're demanding money from. And Mike is saying, bingo, you nailed it there. Do you play bingo, man? <laughs> yeah? So if you can't do anything for other people, what are you doing for yourself in order to be of value tomorrow? We've bought into this big lie, guys, that you need other things in order to be, to be seen out there. 
Business is not a commercial venture or a transaction. Business is, be, you know, human to human. Because those people that you want money from, they're the ones with the credit cards. They're the ones that have the mind, the fingers to scroll through your ads. What are you doing to get their attention? It's not a hack. It's not, it's not like some sort of trick or, or whatever it is. You have to be the person that shows up for your clients. If you don't, somebody else is and is clamoring just below this, um, you know, this video. Somebody is putting out an ad right now so that you can just go in there and get whatever they're selling to you. So we need to maximize on whatever opportunity that you have in order to promote yourself. And most of it is free. You know, surprisingly, a lot of advertising that you can actually do, which is meaningful, is free. Look at this right now. I've got maybe 15 or so people that are watching me live for free. They're not paying. I'm not paying. But I'm imparting value to them so that they too can have a life that's profitable, enjoyable. They too can also make so much money within their business with less struggle. All right. Now, going back to why I'm saying you've been you bought into the big lie. Yes, Nicole, how's it going? We now just expect things to be given on to us. We now just expect things to be instant. You know, you put out money there or, or you put out an ad, you already expect people to come in. We've bought into the lie that everything has to be instant. You've got to put in the work and you've got the resources. You already have the resources. You've got the mouth. You've got the ideas you can get books at a thrift shop you don't need much to actually really create and relate to the people that you're going to take money from a lot of you know all these other advertising campaigns that you might be tricking yourself thinking that you need first of all maybe they're really really time consuming and you're paying somebody first remember they want money from you right do you know what i mean nicole thank you so much for tuning in so many entrepreneurs or startups like yourself, do you know what I mean? They, they really overlook simple and inexpensive opportunities that, that are there in front of them for them to actually promote them, them, themselves. You know, you can reinforce your brand just doing simple things, saying hi to people, really connecting to the people in your newsfeed. We are not doing that. Because we're expecting some, 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 uh, you know, trick to come in, in our way to, 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 to trick other people to think that this is the way we can do business. You really, really need to reinforce your brand and start increasing the sales using the vehicles that you automatically have. Your thumbs, your eyes, your mouth, the phone that you're using right now. And most of these opportunities, they cost far less than the traditional marketing or, or the digital marketing that, um, you know, people uh, sell us every single day. But because we've bought into the whole idea that everything has to happen in an instant, we are no longer going to listen to people like me that are going to tell you that you can actually use your invoices, you can actually use you know, your, your, your voicemail system, you can actually use your receipts from the cash register, you can actually use your email signature to enhance your brand and market yourself. I mentioned a few things. I mentioned maybe, um, you know, invoices. Yeah, maybe when you do a service to somebody else and um, when, when, when you're, you're, you're sending them out an invoice, instead of copying and pasting something that's out there, just get a graphic designer or some marketing consultant to actually just send out maybe with an invoice a free coupon so that they can send off to their relatives so that they can, um, you know, it refer other people to you are we using that free you know method of reaching out to more people by just sending out an invoice that has our branding on it how much would that cost you it costs you zero dollars to actually just print out an information sheet but you're, you're going to be struggling to wanting to get onto a click funnels or, or you know pay facebook ads where, while you already have these tools within your business are you using the back of your invoice or just a little bit of your invoice to actually thank your customers for doing business with you? That's another method that you can use. 
But we've bought into the whole system that maybe we just need the one thing in order for us to, um, you know, to, 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 to reach out to our customers. We already are putting out invoices every single month. How many of them have you used them as a marketing tool? All right. Sometimes maybe some of us already have like a phone system or we've got like voicemail on our phone. Are we utilizing that voicemail in order to tell people about most of our other pro products? All right. I'm guilty of this. I don't think I've utilized this, but I know that, you know, instead of wasting time with instructions of how to leave a message, everybody knows how to leave a message. Remind callers to visit your website, follow you on Instagram, and just take advantage of that two seconds to connect with somebody while they, 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 they couldn't get a hold of you. You know, you could also just maybe use whatever tagline that you have in your business to, to, to say, hey, listen, you've reached uh, Prosper's phone, but listen, if you can't get a hold of him, go to www.livelongdigital.com.au and you'll be seeing our specials um, or whatever it is that you might say. It's simple. It's easy. You know what I mean? There's so much that we can do with the resources that we already have, but we've bought into the idea that we need one new shiny object. And everything that you're going to buy for a limited time only, guys, that's as long as it's going to work for a limited time only. All right? Some of us have got business cards. Yeah? Uh-oh. Do I have business cards? Yes, I do. Yes. Some of us have business cards. All right. Are we utilizing this very, very cheap resource whenever we meet up with people? Hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've got a, I've got a, um, a veterinary, um, a veterinary client. All right. And we're using his business cards to actually, whenever a client comes in, um, we, we made a joke and we are calling him the dog tap, the dog tap, you know? And, um, you know, he, his clients are coming in every single time saying, hey, we're here to see the doctor. Imagine how he's already differentiated himself from all the other doctors out there, but just putting it on his business card. Yeah. So at the back of your business card, maybe you've got a program or you've got like a reminder of, you know, getting people to commit. Yeah. So at the end of the day, some of us are not doing enough. We already have these things around us. We already have all these resources. We've got the phones. We've got the laptops. We've got, you know, the charisma. Let's go out there and really meet up to people and not expect that one single trick or hack is going to be the difference that's going to make us, you know, have or be do a, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. We also really got to look after ourselves because if you can't do well, your business is not going to do well. Exercising, whatever you're doing, it's also part of your, your branding, your marketing. Because then it creates content and then it creates you meeting up with other people. Every Friday and every Sunday, every Friday I go out and play basketball and every Sunday I go out cycling with, um, you know, with, with other um, business people and my friends out there. It just puts you out in the world so you can see how many other problems you can solve. But no, we're stuck on our computers and we're not doing much in order to, to, to put word out there. And we're anticipating that whatever funnel that we have online is the one that's going to bring us, um, you know, um, is the one that's going to bring us, uh, what do you call it, clients. There's so much that we can do. What are you doing with the clients that you've worked with? Are you creating content with them so that they can leave a testimonial for you? You could do interviews with them, all right? Because... Clients are also people that have an audience that you can tap into. What are you doing to tap into your clients' audiences? Right? Because if somebody knows that uh, they had a good service with me, or if Nicole can recommend somebody else, word of mouth spreads that way. Why don't you instigate that word of mouth by actually creating content that is easy to share? Get photos with your clients. Take photos with, when you're at the, with their you know, premises. Show off your work. And when, once you do that, other people would want more of that. Because as humans, we always want what we can't have. 
But then again, maybe you don't even have a business. So that's why you're just going to want to plug your money into whatever funnel and then hope that uh, clients are going to come in. It's okay. That too will work. You know? We're reading and we're consuming um, information. Why don't you create content like we do, like I do every single day so that you can also help other people? Because our main purpose for us to feel fulfilled in life is to be a person of service. So if you can't do anything for other people, you cannot be in business. All right, look at what you're doing right now. Look at how you are actually fulfilling that service. So much around us is a lot of resources that you can utilize instead of wanting to be romantic about some software, about some course, about some agenda that somebody put in your inbox today and you think that is going to change the way you do business. You got to have some sort of really, really, you know, strong strategies around what you're doing for work. And like I said, guys, it's not a commercial venture. It's not a matter of a transaction, all right? It's human venture. You are out there solving people's problems. You're out there figuring out how your business can actually help them. And that's what people are looking for. And if you're really, really good at what you do, show them you can help them by actually helping them. All right? So you can put out your, your expertise, you know, in videos like this. You can ask other people that have platforms like a podcast or you can write on other people's blogs. You know what I mean? Just show that you're there so that you're not a one-click wonder. The main reason why people don't know you exist is because you don't. You are who Google says you are. Right now, if you check yourself, where are you seen? Who else is seeing your stuff except what it is that you're putting out there? Yeah? And Esther says, a lack of clarity makes us see the tools we have in front of us. Ah, oh, that's, that's a really good one there, Esther. You know? Sometimes we already have these things in front of us. Exactly. And these things that I'm talking about, your invoices, your email signature, we're, we're sending out emails every single day. But is your email signature helping people discover who you are? Is your email signature letting people know your latest offer? And look, Corinne, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. So yes, we have bought into this whole big lie that you've got to buy something or you got to be a part of something in order to be successful. But I want to diffuse that. We already have the resources within us. Maybe we're just lazy. Maybe we're just lazy. Or maybe we don't have anyone that's talking about these things to us. All right? You could save a lot of money so you can reinvest back into your business. And Nicole says, we get too complicated, so get confused. Well, we just broke it down right now. A few things that are really in front of you that you can utilize to get more business. The invoice, your email signature, you can butter your services, you can give out your content. You know, let people know who you are. Create some sort of a presence on the internet. Like I said, you are who Google says you are. You know? And sometimes we can't just rely on some tool or some hack or some course, etc., etc. Business is meant to work for us, not us working in it. All right. At the end of the day, we've got all these resources around us, but we're choosing to make it so difficult that we are running our businesses to the ground. Every time I speak to a new client, I just look at what is around them. Oh, I need to get customers. I need to get customers. Okay, what are you doing? What do you have? And what have you done that hasn't worked? And what do you want to accomplish? Zero. They don't know. So if you're not clear about where you really want to go, if you're not clear about where your heart really stands, I want to tell you one other thing, guys, and I keep repeating this. It's not a commercial venture. Of course, yes, money is involved, but people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. Get everybody else who you want to know you to know who you are. All right? The, the, the reason why Sally is not getting business today is because she never got out of bed. All right? 
The big lie that we're living right now is everything is meant to be easy. But I don't think we, we, we really, really do understand. Because life is meant to be lived. And if your business can enhance that lifestyle, then kudos to you, mate. Alright? Uh, Luke says most businesses these days are like drip taps. You can see a little bit of what's inside. But until somebody like Prosper give you a turn, twist, and <laughs> pull <laughs> Yeah, I like that, man. Thank you so much. So, I'm really happy, guys. It's almost September, all right? And if you know that you really, really want to pull your socks and stop lying to yourself, grab yourself the blueprint. It will help you figure out the people you really need to reach out to, what pain they have, and what payoff your business gives. It also helps you engage with the people that you really want to work with while you're providing value and positioning yourself because people want to buy from people that are established, all right? And once you've done that, you're solving problems, you just, all you do is create calls to action and you've built authority, you've got branding and you've got a community of people that are buying your stuff. So if you haven't gotten your copy of the Blueprint, just type in Blueprint and I'll be sending it through to you there, all right? We all have this, guys. Do you know what I mean? Let's not get sucked into 30-minute lifestyles, six-minute abs. None of that stuff exists, and it's not helping you, all right? Let's continue this uh, conversation um, in, 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 the, in, in the comments below, and I really, 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 really appreciate every one of you for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.